When it comes to the holidays, things can be difficult, especially in that first year after a divorce or if you're in the midst of getting one. This next act, the legal expert, has been sponsored by the Hafner Law Office. Joining me is their founder, Mark Hafner. He's a family law attorney. Mark, thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Of course, and this can be a sticky subject, especially for families that are going through a divorce in the midst of a divorce. What should parents that are living in different homes know about the holiday season? Uh, the thing that I always tell my clients is make the holidays about the kids. Uh, really focus on trying to be the least impactful on them. So if they have family traditions, say they do Christmas Eve at uh, dad's house and Christmas day at mom's house, try and keep that up, mm -hmm. keep the same things going and really work with your spouse uh, or soon to be ex-spouse or whatever to make sure the kids are involved with as many fun family activities as they can be. Uh, it's not a time to say, well, sorry, it's my day, so you don't get to let them come over and see your mom in from out of town or something like that. Really make it uh, about them and try and remember that this is you know, very hard on them as well. Uh, and we're really trying to make sure that they have the least impact. It's also gonna help your case a lot to make sure that you're not being a jerk or could be viewed by, as being a jerk. Um, by just depriving the other parent for the sake of depriving them. I mean, you can really use this time to establish new traditions, kind of set the standard and set the tone for what's to come. What are some gifts that parents should consider if they have separated or if they have just gone through that divorce? Well, one of the things you want to do is work with the other parent. You want to make sure you guys aren't getting duplicate gifts. Um, kids really hate that. But also think about what are you going to want um, and what's going to be helpful for them. For example, I know Sometimes you give the kids cell phones so they're easier to get a hold of or they can call you when they're over at the other spouse's house. Uh, iPads if they're gonna FaceTime or Echo shows. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing you do wanna do is coordinate with the other parent and make sure that they're okay with uh, you, you doing that and then bringing it over to their house. But it's gonna be very good for them to feel more connected and it's a time that you really can spend a little bit more and really go the extra mile to make sure that they're going to do it. But that's what I probably would recommend. And it is helpful for kids, too. Absolutely. It's all about putting the, the kids first and making them feel comfortable, because I know this can be a hard mm -hmm. time for them. Do you have any advice for parents who will be spending their first holiday away from their kids if they're separated or divorced? Well, one of the things that I always say, this is the time that you really can take advantage of. It's, it's a, sort of a blessing in disguise. First of all, you can get out of doing the things you don't want to do because no one's gonna blame you for saying, hey, I don't wanna to come to that eighth holiday party uh, <laughs> instead of just hanging home and, and, and relaxing. Uh, and you should take this time to spoil yourself a little bit. Uh, you know, read a book, do a 5K. There's tons of holiday 5Ks. Uh, if you really want to, what I would probably recommend is there are so many things around that you can do with your kids to create new traditions. And I think that's gonna be, what's really important is showing them moving forward, we can do new things, fun things. It doesn't need to be expensive. I, I was actually just talking to my sister about the Polar Express, mm -hmm. but it could be as much as just driving through Candy Cane Lane or um, you know, going to see Santa at the mall or, or whatever you guys wanna do. There's a lot of options around town. They don't have to be high dollar, but it can be fun to have something new that you do with your kids that's really special. Well, I love that advice. And we're giving you lots of great and really free things to do around town here on Studio STL for the holidays. So if you're at home, you're watching, you might be maybe separated or going through a divorce headed into that first holiday season. It can be tricky, but Mark Hafner's book, Exit Strategy, can help you navigate through the waters. It's all about understanding and handling your Missouri divorce. So if you're at home, you're watching, if you wanna call the Hafner Law Office, you absolutely can. You can visit them online at flatratedivorces.com or you can pick up the phone 314-200-6101. They have lots of free documents that you can fill out to help you decide whether or not to hire them. And you can even request a complimentary copy again of Mark Hafner's book, Exit Strategy. All of that will be on our website at studiostl.tv. Don't go anywhere, St. Louis. We'll be right back after this quick break.